Hi YouTube, how you doing? Uh, this thing was sitting in there, I really didn't feel like doing a fucking video tonight, but you know what, this thing was the only drink that I got left that's flavored, and I really didn't feel like a flavorless beer again, so this was my last one, and it's been sitting in there to do a fucking video on when I felt like it. And, uh, I couldn't wait. I said, you know what? Time to drink that motherfucker. Just sitting there looking at me. I'm looking at it. And it said, drink me. I was like, okay. Well, let's take a game to see what she looks like inside. Ooh, ain't that just bright and colorful. Magic rainbow color. Yummy. I don't know if you can pick that up. That's like a plum red. Uh, I don't know this shitty ass camera. Come on, shitty ass camera. Plum red. Nah, let's see what she, uh, Oh yeah, I probably blocked the mic. Oh well. Let's see what she uh, smells like and what she tastes like. Oh yeah, uh, 25 fluid ounces, 8% alcohol by volume. Uh, looking for you millimeter people. You millimeter people. You know what? I don't see milliliters, but you know what? I'm sure I've got a video. Oh, here we go. One pint, nine ounces. And uh, good luck with milliliters, because I ain't got it. Oh, well. Well, it does smell like cherries. Not like real cherries, but like fake Jolly Rancher. Uh, yeah, fake Jolly Rancher cherry. And, uh, uh, hmm. drinkable. It's tart. Yeah, definitely tart. Kind of tastes like, uh, cranberries. Yep. That tastes like to me like a uh, cranberry margarita more than a cherry. I mean, it smells like cherry, but it kind of tastes like a tart cranberry. But it's pretty damn tasty. I'll give it that. That's got to be uh, yeah, eight out of ten or for gas, you know, gas station flavored malt liquor beer. Um, get drunk in the can, uh, you know, two dollar drink. If you down south, up north, you know, things get a little more pricey. But uh, down here, way down here in the south. About two dollar, two dollar for that. A little bit more, two dollar. A about two dollar. Yeah, eight out of ten. Just uh, expect like uh, your first two taste cherry, and then after that, cranberries. Uh, yeah. And it don't leave that good of a aftertaste in your mouth either, I noticed. Yeah, that's not, I might have to downgrade that after it's set for a minute. Yeah, never judge a book by its cover. Now let me sit let me sit on that for one minute. And yeah, that's 
That's a pretty bad aftertaste. It clings in your mouth. That artificial flavoring cling to your mouth. Yeah, that, that's got to be downgraded now. Sorry, Bud Light. But, uh, you know, try to use some real shit in your stuff, and you probably won't have that happen. Uh, that, that, that's gonna get downgraded. The initial taste was an 8 out of 10. The aftertaste has now downgraded this to a probably a 5. And that's like half half. Half people are gonna like it and then the other half are gonna get that taste in their mouth after they finish it and be like damn. What the fuck man. That don't taste too good. Uh, yeah, now five out of ten. Sorry. You know, you got to account for aftertaste, right? Or, you know, part of the drink, you got to stop drinking sometimes, so it's going to be there unless you cover it up with something else, you know, whiskey or, you know, good other shit. Anyways, uh, th this video has went on too long. Good night, YouTube. Happy drinking.